Everybody follow me. It's legendary. Just like boom. Unbelievable. How many places are you going to go and see a green horse? We are having a blast. Ketchup. This is the way we do it. Delicious. I think it's going to work out. Welcome to this special edition of the Tar Heel Traveler, our restaurant edition. Tar Heel Traveler Good Eats, featuring delicious classics across the state. We begin in Greene County at a place that has since expanded, the Farmer in the Dale in Snow Hill. We call them biscuit bombs. Cheddar cheese, bacon. So it's an explosion of flavor in your mouth. A biscuit bomb. <laughs> Lots of melted cheese. It's just bliss. <laughs> Freshly grated. Cheese with bacon or sausage. I think I've eaten a lot of bombs in my day. <laughs> it's very good. The farmer in the Dale. Farmer in the Dale. Farmer in the Dale. Dale or Dale? We always say farmer in the Dale. Yeah. Dale. If you say it long enough, you don't know how you say it. Dale is her maiden name. And my dad is a farmer, and the building is on a farm. Are you surprised this has worked in Greene County? Not at all. There's a line. Our special today is a tenderloin biscuit with gravy. Comfortable, and they have lots of goodies up front. I love it. Love the sweets. The frosted sugar cookies is a vanilla buttercream. With sprinkles. It's one of our most popular cookies. Sweet. So who do you have there with you? This is Ruby James. I want to make sure that Ruby James grows up in a place that she loves and that loves her back, and I just think we couldn't do that anywhere else. Stacy and Zach, back when they looked a little different. We actually you know, met on Match.com, and then a year and a half later, we were married. So on Sunday morning, my husband and I, we would always make biscuits for breakfast. Biscuit bomb. And we thought we could probably sell these. Why not do a pop-up shop? Next thing you know, people were out the door. Biscuits, cookies, Apple Jacks. People came in and they say, I would like six Apple Jacks. And we're like, OK, we can do them for you, but it'll be about two hours because we're really behind on frying. And they said yes. I think sometimes I'm just amazed at how much people believe in us. And believe in the grit bowls. And every time they try it, they always are like, that's the best of grits I've ever had. I would definitely come back. <laughs> Our homemade biscuit dough. Homemade biscuit dough for the biscuit bomb. So we're not going to skimp you on the cheese and the bacon. We're going to put as much in there as we can because that's the way it should be. <laughs> She's done a really great job. I'm very proud of her. Proud of her, too. She's our number one taste tester, and she approves of everything. It's a good business to be in because it's family, and it's just cozy and homey. The farmer in the Dell, you are the icing on my cupcake. It's a great way to spread the sugary love and make sure everyone gets that homemade treat to remind them of grandma. <laughs> in Pittsburgh and it's Tuesday and every other Tuesday is fried chicken day at Verley's Grill. It's wonderful. It's a mouthful. It's your half a chicken, your breast, wing, thigh, leg. Mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans. And a roll. Yep, got the fried chicken. What makes it so good? Because it's fried. <laughs> Fresh, cooked to order. Oh, we love Verley's. It's just like home to us. To her, too. <laughs> great atmosphere, great food, fun people. Really like it. Verley's opened in 1978, and that's Verley, the original owner's great-grandmother. Was she a good cook? They say she was. Today, Verley's Grill is where that old Ford dealership used to be. Did you know that Verley's used to be a parking lot? I did not know that. I'm glad it's not now. <laughs> it seems like a big restaurant. It's 110 seating. And lots of eating. Great breakfast. We have a steak night on Friday night, ribeyes and fillets, grilled salmon. It's a North Carolina catfish sandwich. What do I get to eat here? Well, I love their homemade soups. When's dumpling day? Monday. 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 <laughs> and Tuesday, fried chicken day. We're famous for the fried chicken. The people who come in, where are they from? All over. I mean, Pittsburgh is growing. Pittsburgh. A new development, Chatham Park, is bringing thousands of people. Where are you from originally? New Jersey. Ohio. Ohio? Yeah. You got to go Ohio. <laughs> How do you like Pittsburgh? I love it, love it. I'm here 20-something years. I love it. Everybody is super nice. A lot of locals, a lot of new people. I just think people feel at home. The perfect home. Hey, sweet girl. Hey, it's Tuesday. And every other Tuesday is Fried Chicken Day at Verley's Grill. How are you today? Hungry. 
We like to stay humble and just serve a good country meal. Calabash is known for seafood, and the fresher, the better. Right off the boat, seafood. The waterfront seafood shack. Atmosphere here is fantastic. Oh, it's beautiful. Woo! Have you ever eaten shark before? No, never. Woo! Seafood right off the boat. About as fresh as you can get there, then. The seafood shack. Pop that right here. With a kitchen tinier than a shack, shrimpier than a shack. The seafood, the sea bass. You are gold The daily catch. Shrimp special. Fabulous black and I'm thinking the scallop sandwich. Awesome experience. The experience of eating what you've spent catching. So you just got off the boat. We did. We had a blast. And now they're hooked. A little dinner and lunch. Cook them up and add some hush puppies, too. How are the hush puppies? They're pretty good. OK, perfect. You guys, enjoy. Let me know if you need anything, OK? OK, so how did it all begin? <laughs> how much time you got? <laughs> Plenty of time. Life in Calabash. Take a look and reflect. All the different wildlife that's around, it's beautiful. Look at the environment. Look what you're looking at. Great food in front of you. The food, the seafood. My father-in-law, uh, for about 32 years right here, uh, sold shrimp in the building behind you. Until the building became an ice cream shop. So in 2014, we remodeled the ice cream shop and put a full kitchen in. Put all the love into it. And started cooking seafood. Started cooking seafood. From right off the boat. We take people fishing. Lucky strike. Maybe they got a lucky strike. What kind of fish are they catching? Uh, anything from black sea bass to Spanish mackerel, king mackerel. Shark. It's a black tip. It's a mini jaws. You come in here, you never know what you're going to find. The market is next door now. Probably one of the last open air fish markets you'll ever come to. Y'all, come eat. Whatever comes in is what we actually sell here. What a setting here between the market and the restaurant and the fish and the chicken. The plates and the plates. Ohio, Massachusetts, California. It's been a journey here to Waterfront. Fresh, local, wild. You having a good time? Having a great time. What a laid back time at the waterfront. I love it. It's amazing here. Gorgeous scenery. If it's lunchtime in Mount Airy and you're hungry, go ahead and eat and make it snappy. There's pork on the grill. The boneless pork loin. Pork, pork, and more pork. And batter. Milk, and sugar, flour, eggs, and a little bit of salt. It looks like a pancake, but this is the famous pork chop sandwich at Snappy Lunch. What do you think of the pork chop sandwich? To me, it's awesome. It was very southern. I thought, like, that's a great word to describe it. What did you get on it? Oh, all the way. A pork chop sandwich. They come from far and wide to get it, let me tell you. They come to Mount Airy, Andy Griffith's hometown. Andy of the Andy Griffith Show, who once mentioned Snappy Lunch on the show. After the show, <laughs> why, we can go down to Snappy Lunch and get something to eat and some coffee. Want to? Was it just that one episode? That's one episode. One reference. One, epi one reference. But that one was a big one. How does it taste? It's a taste of its own. They come long ways, what they do to get this. They drive three and four hours. For a pork chop sandwich. I'm a, not a very adventurous person. I have the BLT. But it's the famous pork chop sandwich. I wonder how it became so famous. I don't know. I guess it's just something different. Everybody liked it. Charles Dowell invented it. Oh, he was a card. He loved to pick and cut up. And he loved to cook pork chop sandwiches on the grill by the window. So he could look out and see everybody. Yeah, he said that was his world. He, was, <laughs> he saw what was going on. And so he started getting the boneless pork loins and started tenderizing them. And that's how the pork chop became famous. Didn't he say that he wanted something people without any teeth could eat? Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, he wanted to make it tender enough for somebody without teeth to eat. Charles owned Snappy Lunch from 1960 until his death in 2012. And still, the customers keep coming. Where do they come from? Everywhere, everywhere, every state, probably. Where are you from? I'm from Utah. It's pretty neat. You can spend a day here and have a good time. A day in Mount Air and lunch at Snappy Lunch. Oh, we have hamburgers, hot dogs. We have something called a breaded hamburger. I love their breaded cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. Nothing like them. And nothing like a pork chop sandwich. If you ain't never tried it, I recommend it. Charles' legacy sizzles on. Mm-mm, good. Sure is, Pa. Like stepping back in time. Order 
Tar Heel Traveler books at thetarheeltraveler.com. Books that celebrate the state. Copies autographed and personalized at thetarheeltraveler.com. When you see a WREL certified accurate forecast, you know it's been verified by the largest team of meteorologists with the most powerful tools in North Carolina. We personally write every alert and send them directly to you so that you'll always know when severe weather is at your doorstep. Tracking severe weather or everyday weather, no matter where or how you watch. Always local, always live, always protecting what matters to you. And that's coverage you can count on. Where do the locals eat in Moorhead City? The captain's table, where the locals eat. And their food is wonderful. It's good. We come here every chance we get. This is our very favorite place. Hey, y'all. How are you doing today? Today is looking sunny side up. Smile and keep it turning. Hush puppies for y'all. The place is jumping. <laughs> the food is outstanding. Their uh, seafood is outstanding, too. Fish on TV. Jaws open wide. I had catfish today. They have excellent seafood, always fresh. I get shrimp. Oysters. I love oysters in season. It is so yummy. <laughs> yeah, going good. The captain's table has been going good for years. It was a well-going thing. Then Heather and Joey... What do you say, man? ...bought the place. Don't tell anybody we bought it. Because locals don't like change. You see a lot of the, mostly locals. At the time, I was a 15-year deputy sheriff. Joey did not change the restaurant, just his career. I'd rather feed the people than, than, than hunt them. Scramble them up. Breakfast anytime. At the little place in Moorhead City. If you want to be a little la di da and you want to go with some shrimp and grits, I got a homemade Crystal Coast recipe here that we do. That is phenomenal. Well, they got my heat that I really like. It's the atmosphere. It's, you know, it's the captain's table, so Jimmy Buffett and then kind of some island music. They're always welcoming. They come over and say hi. What can I get for you to drink today, honey? Everybody's friendly and the food is good. Each plate has to be on the money. Sometimes they come in two and three different times a day. <laughs> the local. Joey's uh, actually my best friend. We're so grateful to be blessed like this. Oh, because it's so good. The oysters are really good. Great service and great food. Fresh. It's making me want to go fishing now. <laughs> but first, time to eat. You just got to care, and you got to love on every plate. In Goldsboro, Rudy's Hot Dogs. Or is it James's Delicious Hot Dogs? Well, anyway, it is Hot Dogs. Oh, we love Rudy's. A lot of the older folks call it Rudy's. The food is out of this world. A lot of the newer folks call it James's. Me and James raised together. James. Hot dogs are my main thing. Is James a good fella? Oh, yes, he is. It'll make him any better. Food is excellent. Love it. Plain or all the way? All the way. It sits right by the road. It's famous in Goldsboro. <laughs> a busy place. A little bit, yes, sir. Busy making those hot dogs. Red dogs. It's the only kind of hot dog to eat. It's the best. Steamed and smothered. How's that chili? It's great. Absolutely great. Onions and slaw. Makes the slaw homemade, and that's the best way to get it. Is there some secret to the slaw? No, not really. I just won't tell you what's in it. <laughs> it's wonderful. Wonderful times two. Well, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> They've got a great following here. It's a family place. I've been eating here all my life, you know. It's a mom and pop kind of place. And there's mom. This is my mom, and this is my son. Three generations. Four generations. Rudy. When my grandpa opened the business as a convenience store, he named it Rudy's Mart. He opened in 1972. 8.95. The store didn't sell hot dogs till 87. I don't know what I would do without it. Mom is 85. And you eat two hot dogs every day? Just about. Monday through Friday. The hot dogs are good, the environment's good, and you meet a lot of friends here. I bet you see everybody you know in here. Oh, yeah. A lot of them. Love for God and love for other people. Yeah. And that's what you feel when you come in here. We've been coming here a long time. July 1st, I will have been coming here 30 years. A doggone delicious tradition. I think that's what draws everybody in. Best hot dog in five counties. Is Jordan going to carry on the tradition? Lord willing, yes, sir. If they'll let me have it, I think I might take over. Well, you must be very proud of Jordan. I am, but he needs a haircut. 
I'm worried about his hair. And now we call it James Famous Hot Dogs. James's, Rudy's, Jordan's? As long as you call us, we don't care. Just as long as you're here. It's the best hot dog I ever had. Maybe the best hot dog he's ever had, too. See you later. It's a great place to be. This is the place to come. Well, y'all be careful. Good to see you. Y'all take care. Nutz Cafe in Faison, where both the food and the owner are inspiring. Hush puppy, okay. Hush puppies coming up. Nut has plenty. Plenty of fish stew, too. It's overflowing. And so is her energy. Corn and butter bean. And her bravery. I go up in Vietnam. And now she's in Faison, small town Faison, and her little cafe is overflowing. Fish stew. How is it? Great. It is really great. Come here every day almost. I love her pork chops. Her spaghetti is delicious. Fish, corn, and collards. Rice, collards, and chicken. Strawberry shortcake. She works real hard. She always has. She has worked since she was five years old. I mean, she's she's amazing. You went into the Army at 15 years old? I'm 15. During the Vietnam War. What did you do in the Army? Cooking for people. Whatever they tell me to do, I do. She cooked for American soldiers. I learn English. And then worked as a translator. And they would treat the villagers of these small villages. I mean, these people had nothing. And neither did Nut as a child. That's her riding a water buffalo. She grew up in a very poor village. No electricity, no running water. I get melty. She married an American soldier who brought her to the United States, to Los Angeles. Los Angeles Hotel, you know, I never see hotel they beat in my life. She couldn't read, she couldn't write, she could barely speak the language, she couldn't drive a car. You why you fay and everything together? <laughs> She'd never seen a bathtub. No, no. Well, people take the shower, too. <laughs> they eventually found their way to face it, and in 1990, Nut opened Nut's Cafe. Oh, she was great. Sweetest person you want to be around. She is an amazing woman. Yeah. I'd rather eat here than at home. I think they love me, and they try to see me success and try to help me out. Let's help Nut. And this community was amazing. The community raised the money to send her back to Vietnam to see her lost family. She assumed that they were all dead, and they assumed that she was dead. When they saw you, what was that like? My father about to fall down floor and die. They were overjoyed, and so were the people of Faison. I just love her, and I, I'm so proud of her. My mom's the most amazing person I've ever known in my life. She is so loved. That, that will be her legacy. And Nut's Cafe is loved too. May I have you, honey? Feet and shrimp. And what else, honey? So you watch WREL? Every day. WREL is all about family. Well, JVN. JVN, how you doing? It matters that we go to all these different places and we get to meet people and finding out what's important to them. The weather, when those storms come through and you need that immediate information. To see and hear more, not only what's going on nationally, but what's going on right here in our local area. Community is so important. To be able to find out what really matters to people, finding out what's important to them. WREL News, coverage you can count on. The WREL Storm Tracker is built from the ground up to handle anything. WREL is the only station that can track the weather from inside the storm. Only on WREL. Wake up with WREL and start your day off right. The Farmhouse Cafe and Bakery in Newton Grove. Country cooking and a dream come true. I am 22 years old. And not just flipping burgers. This is his restaurant. He is so young. 22. He does all the extra stuff that makes it special. Well, like hiring his mom, who he considers special. I have to give them the credit because I don't like to cook. <laughs> Carson does the cooking and the running of the restaurant. It's just kind of been a dream of mine all my life. He grew up across the street from the restaurant in this building. He had always seen it growing up, and it just happened to be available for rent. Too many things began to happen and fall into place, and we just knew, you know, that it was, it was the Lord. And he's always got a smile on his face. He's a Christian man. Oh, they're wonderful people, wonderful people. And the food is excellent. Yes, the food. 
breakfast and lunch, pork chops and greens, tea and sugar. Hey, Shug. We really want it to be family oriented. Our big thing here is Thursdays. We do hamburger steaks, and people love those. Listen, this is one of my very favorites. Country ham and egg. I thought one time I would take my husband, who is working, half of it. But I've decided I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Before Carson was a cook, he was a Cub Scout, an Eagle Scout. But we cooked in cardboard boxes. That's where I first developed my love for cooking. My favorite thing is their cabbage. <laughs> Chips and onion rings in the fryer and on the plate. I love it. It's a blessing to Newton Grove to have a place that is so inviting. Established 2020. Welcome to the farm. Have you ever seen a prettier place than this? The place used to be a gas station. Where this table is, uh, is actually where the oil pit was. Now people gather and eat in the farmhouse or the barnyard. We share joy, we share sorrows. We're just always there for each other. And on their t-shirts, too. I'm the one with gray hair. <laughs> Trouble. You know, the people are so nice and just couldn't be any better. The farmhouse cafe and bakery in Newton Grove. It's a journey, but I love it. I love what I do. And we have truly, truly been blessed. The sign says Mrs. Lacey's, but it's actually Miss Lacey's, and it's a pronounced part of Sanford. Look, I had to see you in so long. <laughs> what a sweet moment, and a delicious lunch, and a relaxing setting. Sitting out on the porch and sipping sweet tea and having wonderful desserts. It's a great place to be. How did it all come to be? I have no idea. I never dreamed of doing this. She bought the house on a whim back in 1995. Had you always had that idea in the back of your head, a tea no, room? That's what I said. It had to be a God thing. I have no idea. Did it just no, pop into your head? Popped into my head. Faye named the tea room after her grandmother. And all the kids at church called her Miss Lacey. <laughs> Faye, the hugger. <laughs> She is so sweet. It's her calling. It is her calling. What does the back of your shirt say? <laughs> Shortcake and Jesus. How's the food? Amazing. A tea room lunch. It's one of my favorite spots to eat. Homemade soup, salads. We've got pasta salad, potato salad. And a potato. We have at least 13 desserts on our menu. What's left of uh, mud pie? <laughs> it's good here. I like to come here. So much good. So glad to be here. <laughs> so many hugs. Good, good, good. So much love that people need. You were diagnosed with breast cancer, including Faye. He said, this is invasive. But when they went in and did the surgery, all my margins were clear. So you went from invasive to clear margins. Clear margins. Could they explain it? No. This is a God thing again. I mean, they said, I can't believe this. Well, it's nice to have y'all. Faye can't believe her blessings. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. I think she demonstrates a special love that is unique because of her faith. It's good to see you. That goes out to all of her patrons. I think they feel it when they're here. Are you proud of your mom? Oh, I'm extremely proud. How are you? Oh, she's a dear. She's one of the wonderful people of Sanford. Why do you think it's been so popular? The grace of God, period. It's given me happiness. And hugs. I'm gonna try it. And if I can just give them a hug and make their day, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Miss Lacey's Magnolia House in Sanford. Good eats. We hope you've enjoyed this special restaurant edition of the Tar Heel Traveler. We'll see you again next time down the road. I'm Scott Mason. The Tar Heel Traveler. Order Tar Heel Traveler books at thetarheeltraveler.com. Books that celebrate the state. Copies autographed and personalized at thetarheeltraveler.com.